what is up guys welcome to another jack meet yes another two video month with flow and spring i don't have seen that video but i'll leave a link in the description check it out if you want to see some uh, nice pristine classic motors but we are here we're parked up we've got aaron and Ree parked up just over there and of course we've got the beast just here but we're gonna get into it start looking around to see what we've got it's a bit of a cold one bubble hat season is back Fortunately, you know, I'm here to cheer myself up. Fortunately, the family cat got hit last week, or well, just before last weekend. So, rest in peace, little man. But anyway, we're gonna get to it. And uh, before we get too far into it, we got the pink ribbon here. Yeah, because I forgot to announce in the last video and all the excitement of the cars. I am having a baby daughter. So yes, we're gonna have a little female petrol head in a buggy coming around with us to meets like this obviously when the warmers when the warm up when the weather's nicer in the near future but we're gonna get into it now and see what we got it uh, of course got ben parked up civic engine bay popped we've managed to abandon just about over here we've got aaron and Ree out here in the micra and the tour the tour six so got this white on white manual Supra, the OG well I'll tell with the car is on board. I do like the color coded centers. That's sick. We got the pug, the micro next to the Supra. The wheels still holding on. A couple of boosted MX5s, NB and an NA, both in blue. Got an IS200 as well. Got the C63 on bags, the F82 M2 on bags, and the sick carbon louvered fenders, carbon hood to go with. And we've got the vented hood on the Golf R as well. So we've got a little Pikachu Daihatsu Copen right here. Even has a little Pikachu poking up. Got the Red interior, like the little wheels as well. That's cool. So the trio Mazdas here, two MX-5s and MX-3 or MX-6, I think. But this one is the 2.5 V6. We've got, of course, in the best color. And we've got this one with a nice little old school race style livery on it. We've got the yellow Mark III VR6 Golf back once again. Next is lifted Jimny on some beefy tires looking pretty cool with the light bar on the roof just bagged 740i sat here looking absolutely gangster so we got the infamous 480 horsepower turbo b18 mini back once again i mean it's it it doesn't get any less crazier the more you see it honestly and the more you see it, the more you realize what's been done to turn this into the machine it is. I mean, just look, look at it. So you have pain to change a belt on this thing. But meanwhile, got a nice Evo 9 MR set here. Looking pretty clean with the carbon front deck. There's a beautiful VR6 of R32, rumbles past. Got the turbocharged Micron MX-5 with the full cage buckets and harnesses and stripped interior back once again. And then the, hiding behind it, we have a Mustang and it is the 5 liter GT. Now if I was to have any modern muscle car, it'd be one of these 2015 Mustang GT 5.0 at the least. It's just, I love this general shape and style of the modern Mustang. We've got a duo of black Toyotas starting off with the Mark IV Supra and then we have the GR Yaris set here as well. Now this is the spirit of taking what you've got and having some fun with it. We've got the old Corsa here and we got the Peugeot both of course in the spirit of use what you got and have fun. So we've got a black E30 arriving with the bagged R32 Golf set here as well as another black GR Yaris sat over there. 
Got the Aprilia rolling in. I do like those. So got the pretty nice Focus ST rolling in. But behind we have this very nice blue 370Z with a nice aero kit on it. We have Orange S15 arriving with arriving as well we got the chaser going buck wild with the two-step the a86 rolling in the chaser still idling away we have a brand new Supra set here looking very nice s15 still anti lag Cool little micro here, sat below on some nice wheels. Got a Cobra bucket seat in there as well, OMP wheel. Sat next to the Supra. Nah, the 370 fine. parked up, a nice really look at the work heavy, wheels. Really Do like the uh, aero package on it, it is nice. It makes it a more aggressive look. The Aerodex Civic with the Bozazoku light on the back seat. Do like this, so it's, like it's got the uh, VTIS kit on it. The head of lights in the front bumper it's clean here we have a bagged mark 7 golf r wagon it's pretty sick you don't see many of those a nice new tts rolling in we've got the bagged audi s1 back let's get a listen to the sound system Pretty decent. So next to that, we got the EG Civic with the Tyler Motorsports cage. Got the carb in the hood. Z45 here, looking pretty menacing. To be fair, got the VXR swapped five door Astra out once again. Now, if I remember correctly, this is a Jay-Z swapped slammed L200. It's been a while since I've seen this. Oh, nice. We've got the screen in there. We've got the grid buckets, of course. The Momo wheel on NKR PF1s. Our PF1s look good on anything. We've got the active underglow on the Yaris T-Sport shining away. Another WR out here. There's some of the shark livery on the front and the uh, snow camera. We got Jay out here in the trusty Corolla T Sport. Good to see Adam C has brought out his white on white chaser. And I've got to say, you cannot argue with the Vertex body kit on this car. Just, just has a presence that can't be matched by anything else on the road. It's just, it's an awesome machine. I can only imagine just how nice it is to daily as long as it's giving you no old car issues. And of course, next to Adam C's big boat of a car from Japan. We got the little K car from Japan, the little cappuccino. Always love seeing this thing, this little carbon ducktail boot lid. It's tiny little 15 inch. TE37s, OG TE37s as well. And of course, it has the carbon hood and everything. I can only imagine just how fun this thing is on the back roads. Power to weight ratio. I mean, I don't even know. Someone could probably tell me in the comments, but power to weight ratio has probably got to be way better than a Veyron in this thing. We got the trusty little drift compact here. I see the spare tires in the back. I see the bucket seat. And of course, the obligatory stickers oh come on the webby show sticker on the back you can't go wrong with these little missiles to be fair you can tell angle kit on the front so we got bash bar on the front as well nice some v6 noises from the mx6 over there but here 
you have a boosted NBMX5 with the hard top. Let's go get some of that V6. We've got the headrest of the Corsa keeping in uh, theme with uh, Diff's Mums Festive. So we've got a pop and bang mat. That's the centre exit though, so at least it looks good. We've got this relatively stock, it's either an EJ or an EK, either way it is stock. When they're completely bone stock, it takes. Yeah, it is an auto, but man, look at that interior. That actually, that looks clean as. Nah, that's nice. I like that. The body looks relatively straight. Of course, a bit dark. Can't see too well, but looks good. We have the Jap Import Vitz RS. If you know Gran Turismo, then you know this car. Nice right, so one. Some revs as well. Something I quite like over here. My auntie used to have one of these back in the day, old Hilux Surf. Set so over here, we've got the Celica with the definitely period front bumper, but it looks nice. We've got the Sleepy Eyes and the SW20 MR2 with the full leather interior. And I just noticed that MX5 has a red bucket seat. It's got a boosted Mark IV Golf here. We've got this sick. Early Sierra four door set here with a full cage and everything in it. It looks like it's got the Cosworth wheels. We've got Steve out here with his 400 brake 18 turbo Mark IV GTI. Looking clean as always with the full leather interior of the leather Corbro buckets. We've got the RC Drift Guard and it is a little green S15 this month. Got the OG Dagenham built Ford right here. I mean, come on, comment down below if your dads used to have one of these back in the day or your granddads used to have one of these. The Escort Cozzy rolling out. Oh no. The E36 Vert has had an injury. E36 Touring coming in as well. We've got the S15 with the uh, Natasha Anime Girl on the side. And the Chaser with the uh, forever more zip tied front bumper. <laughs> the bike's doing a burnout. It was getting sketchy. We've got the red neons on the black type R here. And then, of course, we've got the Tofu Shop decal on the door of the the white type part. So we got the JZX100 Chaser set here next to the LS powered Vauxhall VXRA, otherwise known as the Holden Commodore in Australia or the Chevrolet Supersport in the US. But this sick midnight purple R35 GTR here with the Nismo wing and the yellow Supra is repositioned next to it as we got the Nice front lip on the MX-5 here as well. We've got a little Toyota IQ on some wheels, got some stickers on it. There's the tag. Oh, the uh, Japanese show plates as well, that's a cool touch. Something you expect to roll up down the floor in spring. We've got this 
Beautiful little classic Triumph Spitfire Roadster. The super bike is going wild down the strip. It looks like the Flamingo wing is gone for now on the race car S14 with the hood dump. But still looks pretty good with the uh, the lip spoiler on the back. Oh, we've got the WR rolling out. I think mine's a little louder to be honest. Got this OG 6 Series coupe set here next to the S15 Variator. It's good to see this thing back out here. I don't think it'll be out too much more now. The weather's getting a lot colder. And of course it is sat next to the modified Duke with the roof wreck. As it looks like John is about to head out on the EK. Let's uh, see if we can catch one. Here comes John. ABS Got a nice green MX-5 parking up here and it's pretty nice IS-200 as well Got a little red turbo MX-5 Oh, two step Nice, sat next to the green M4 Nice turbo flutter on it. See, it's got the uh, roll cage in there as well. With the E36 Touring making a bit of noise. This thing looks sick. Full M3 Aero. How can you argue with an E36 wagon? So, we've got the Mark 1 Escort back. Here is the green MX-5, looking pretty sick. It's got the carbon fiber boot lid with the great IS-200 as well. Set of a very nice stance and a very muddy discovery next to it. Look at that. Got the sick OG Civic. It's got the CRX seats in the front. This thing's sick. The S2000. Got a fast and furious delivery on a wide body IS200. So we just had a nice chat with the owner here. And uh, yeah, this thing does not deceive. It is a race car. It does struggle for traction. You gotta love the old school Jack Tour and style side pipes. Full stripped interior. I mean, when's the last time you even saw one of these generation sneakers on the road, let alone one looking like this? A nice black on black Mark II Golf GTI. It is a 16 valve. Next to the A86 Notchback Torreno. Got another 350 making some noise with the purple neons. Very nice. Got this nice Subaru hatch here. I think it's a WRX. It's got a nice wing on it. It's definitely something Ree would like. The Drift Turbo MX-5 with the trolley jack handle Hydro is now red with a silver roof. Looking pretty nice. We've got the family sleeper wagon. It is a VXR Sephira. Got a bagged Mark 6 Fiesta ST on some nice free SDM wheels. Definitely something I'd uh, use in my catalogue of cars on Need for Speed. It's got the uh, pearlescent paint work on it. Got the GR Yaris with WRC on the number plate leaving. That's pretty cool. We have the ST swap, ST line off white back once again. This is of course a familiar sight, and you know you can't go wrong with the off white livery. It looks good. We got the 370Z here with the Velside body kit. If you know Veilside, then of course you know the infamous Tokyo Drift RX-7. This is one of many of the aero packages. Got the Mark III GTR here with the two-tone black and red interior. Nice. Got the Mini here. 
in the Halloween spirit, the neon light in the boot. Well, we got the screamer pipe coming straight out the hood of the Nurburgring Edition VXR Astra. We got the HSV Commodore back out here once again, looking awesome. Next to a little, a little, little blue sheep C1, can't go wrong. We got the flares. We got the front splitter. We got the vents that don't vent. Got a nice GSXR sat here next to a nice EP3 Civic Type R. Yes, yes, yes. We have a GCA Impreza wagon. It's got the badges. Ask oh, the GL all wheel drive. That is what's important. Nice little twin tip on it, and it's got the wang. It has the wang, most importantly. To top it off, as you can see, we've got the factory Momo wheel. Ennis Emanuel, come on. We've got the S15. We have a brand new BMW M2 just casually leaving. Behind we have a white C63. We have this absolutely stunning purple FDRX7 with the OG V1 Rocket Bunny wide body kit. Some very deep, wouldn't be surprised, repainted at work Meisters considering this looks to be like an authentic Rocket Bunny kit. And we got the infamous big Kakimoto can on the back as well. This thing is sick. Let's get, uh, get some light on your terror. It is a manual. And to throw in some old school JDM sauce. It looks like it's on a, a Pexi FC. That's awesome. Got the bagged VR6 Mark IV Golf set here on some pretty nice five spoke wheels. Meanwhile, the, the Seat's been coned. Here is that brand new M2. Two tone, black and yellow. Shout out was Khalifa. Ooh, KTM RC125 with a custom Venom livery on it. That was pretty dope. We got a Subaru BRZ on Volk Racing tri spokes. Come on. Got the LED lighting in the polo here. We got the championship white PK9 with the infamous red Recaros, of course, on the white factory wheels. I mean, this is the colorway. When you think on the Civic Type R, you think championship white EK9. Of course, having fun with what you got once again, we got some XXR wheels on the gets with the bumper dump and the, uh, I don't quite know what they was going for style hood. Uh, and I said they got a light in there as well. They got some flares on the back, just not on the front yet. Work in progress. But hey, man, you gotta have fun with what you got. Yeah, we got the injured but insanely sick E36 Cabriolet is a 332i. But I believe it's had an N54 swapped into it. Which, not too clued up on my BMW motors, I believe is the E46 M3 motor. Correct me down in the comments. The next to it, we got the Smokey Boy E36, and I like how it has the uh, the rare motorsport mouldings on the side. That's quite nice. The bucket seat and uh, no passenger seat, no passenger rides today. Then we got this nice E39. I love. The body kit on this it gives it this uh very bn sports jet vibe got the sick blob eye sti here pretty cool grill like the uh headlights and then it has this pretty well vented hoods i mean you can see quite a lot of the engine through there and i just noticed it looks like it's had the engine bay and all that repainted green as you can see that a little bit more green and there's the infamous STI top mount intercooler peeking through the hood scoop 
Gotta respect the honesty. If you're gonna have a show plate and you're gonna have a car looking like this, then it makes sense. Got the black Civic Coupe and the red EK hatch hiding over in the corner here. Seven leaving, and there's lights out there and a busted pole there, so we're gonna see what's happening. Well, this definitely isn't in one piece anymore. That's completely smashed. Because it sounds like we have a Honda coming, and it's not gonna get caught by the lights. And it is S2000. This is a very loud free series. Very loud. Got a nice little uh, set there as well. Unfortunately, no one was hurt luckily, but had a bit of an oopsie. But like I said, no one was hurt, just damage to the post in the car. It's unfortunate, but it happens sometimes. Gotta be careful out there. The IS200, I think going to have a little investigation. We've had a crash and unsurprisingly, and maybe the cause of why the police are now here as the two-tone turbo X5 and the ship box is leaving. As you got the horn. Uh, got an MX5 and the police doing their patrols, I think. Yeah, look. They're pulling over to see what's happened. We've got the Laurel. Nice. Yes, the ST M2 something car. EP3, EP2 with the full EP3 Aero. We got the tofu delivery Type R leaving. As the disco lights from the police car. Got the black Civic Type R with the red neons turned off for now. We've got the red one and another black one. As we have ah, the Turbo E46 being cheeky with a little flare. And we have a wild Adam C appearing in a very luminous hoodie. As the white chaser leaves. And we have the Laurel again. We got the tri spoked BRZ leaving, making a little bit of noise, but not enough to annoy the police. Ah, uh, the Argos van got in the way, but the Black Sora went past JZX90 and the blue EP2. The duo of minis leaving. Got the 350Z following the Yas Marina blue F80M3. Ah, uh, we got the Subaru rumbling away. That sounds menacing. Got uh, Fiesta ST leaving in the ready orange. With the M2 something I leave on is it looks like Adam C has got a similar idea of standing at a different spot this month as the course leaves. Four man up in the E46 but we got the 7 series with the blast pipes in its V8. <laughs> Clean little white MX-5 leaving. Along with a nice blue on that Sirocco. And another ST. We got the lights on top of the Golf. The Golf are popping and banging. The Mark V GTI. There's the GSX-R. Got the Focus ST leaving. As we have Federale coming through and the GSXR about to wind a bit of throttle on down there. I wonder where they're going. Oh, they're going up there. Got the little red polo leaving. We got here that is. S200. So 
We have the Golf R back. There is the green MX-5, followed by the Palescent Fiesta and the Safira Vexa and the police car heading back out. So they had their lights on for fun for some reason. Now they're parking up at their usual spot over there. Better late than never. They already had one din low bin it into the post over there. Oh my god. Aston Martin repeat just rolled past out of nowhere. What do we have here? It is Mark II MX5. I think that was the turbo. Oh, we've got one of the bikers rolling out. What have we got here? Looks like a little Grom or something. No, it's not a Grom. The headlight looked like a Grom though. And we have FN2 with the Mugen wing. And another FN2 with the standard wing. The LS400. We've got an Alpha leaving. IS200 of a 1UZ. Mark 1 MX5. And a 1 Series. We've got a Leon Cupra leaving, a little bit of turbo or something. A lot of stickers on the back of that Peugeot. Got the little scooter there, doesn't doesn't have the best of headlights. And uh, aeroplates with a passenger. This guy must be shitting himself. Got the Land Rover Discovery, giving us a bit of diesel dust. Nice. Got the MX-5 with the body kit and a Fiesta. Heading round to where the crash golf was. The E36 Vert has been picked up and is being taken away. We've got the little Pajoro leaving. True Mini Cooper S has just went past. All the bikes leaving at once. <laughs> Yamaha popping some flames. Got the lifted Freelander leaving. Not Freelander, Discovery Free. My bad. The MR2. The Yamaha giving some more flames. Turbo MX5. And a Mark 5 Gold that didn't crash. Discovery leaving its VIP parking in its spot. And then we've got a 3 Series. And the Black Chaser. We've got the BN Style E39 leaving. Steve leaving in his 400 brake Mark 4 Golf. So the police car is moving once again. Put the blow off valve of the little yellow cappuccino. Not cappuccino, sorry, the Copen. That one's a Copen. Cappuccino's the other one. We have the black Supra leaving. And the black GR Yaris. Yamaha's giving it some. Got the Scirocco that was making all the pops and bangs earlier now leaving. We got Jay leaving in the Corolla. Just as the police car decided to park up there again. We also have a Celica GT4. We got the Commodore leaving. V8 Goodman. And a black Celica GT4 just behind it. Jay making some noise because we've got loud little micro leaving as well. And so George in the Yaris as well. MX5. There's a better look at a GT86 that followed the Commodore. We've got the kind of dark majestic purple MX5 leaving now. Got a whole gang. Well, I say gang, a duo of electric dirt bikes there. And this nice low pig nose S13 leaving. Along with a 46 compact. Some 
BMW uh, 6 Series in matte black. It's like, oh, yellow Celica, where did that come from? There goes the S13. As we have, oh, it's the little C1. Oh, it's got a center exit. <laughs> But uh, MG ZR with hood vents leaving. Of course, getting confused by the no traffic lights like everyone else. Focus ST with the stripes leaving. Along with a little Mito. Got a red Fiesta leaving as well. Got Polo GTI leaving. Got the electric dirt bike doing some donuts in the grass over there. We've got the PD Fabio leaving. I'm not sure that's the side of the car I would choose to stand on, officer, but each to their own as we have a polo leaving. Another PD Fabio VRS. We've got Cooper S convertible. And the wannabe gangsters. With the blue Fiesta followed by the classic Mark 1 Escort. We've got the R35 leaving with the R125 Yamaha as well. MX5 is trying to do donuts in the car park. Well, it is kind of doing donuts now, but I just saw a police officer walk down there. Don't be a fucking retard. Calm, sedate, with a little V8 rumble from the LS400. The MX-5 hasn't left yet, but officer here is probably coming to tell him that Yeah, stupid little blue MX-5 doing donuts, pull him over What well, a beauty of having a police car sat right there and then witnessing the MX-5 uh, I just overheard the note registration being read off as right, it's 200 leaves And uh, the car there being given the instruction to stop him, so nice one Golf. We've got the VIX RS leaving. We've got the Polo on wheels. And then we've got the distinctive EJ Rumble of the Subaru. Nice block valve on it as well. They're just cruising in the Fiesta as well. they got a brake light out there. That's not good. MX5. Mark 5 Golf GTI leaving now. So it looks like we've got a couple of officers camped out in the van there. Uh, got the Nurburgring Astro, the Screamer leaving. And another Mark V Golf. No, notice how all these ones are leaving without incident. Got this really nice looking green Mark IV Golf I don't remember seeing in there. Black 350Z. There's a little bit of 350 trumpet there. We have Silver MX-5, it was not the culprit unfortunately. So a Renault Sport McGann leaving as well. Here are 125. That's the Venom KTM RC. It's got a Cookie Monster, not Cookie Monster, Elmo on his helmet. C63 leaving. As the RC is making some noise. That does sound bad, but I think mine's louder. So we've got the bagged Gulf R Estate leaving. Yeah, I'll see back for another round. We have Silver Mark II. Oh no, it's a brown. The headlights confused me. The RC is back on the other side. Now we have Adam C departing in his chaser. Sounds like so we have the A90 Super moving. We have Adam coming back past on the opposite side. 
course, being sensible. No, uh, I think I think the RC is just having fun at this point. But he's gone down there now. But the black FN2 with the Mugen wing leaving. Uh, the Clio has forgot to turn the lights on. They might get pulled over by the uh, police car down there. Let's see. No. Oh no, yeah, they are going after him. Should just be a, a little warning to turn the lights on, hopefully. Some little pops from the uh, Type R there, keeping it all legal. We've got Chubbs the Fiesta leaving. Got a red Astra VXR leaving. Along with a, a blue one as well. Now someone let me know in the comments, is this a Crown or JZX 110? Either way, it is looking nice. It's like the Supra has repositioned next to it, along next to the, the Leica. But then, uh, seems we've got some goodies under the hood of the Corsa here, hiding away. Pretty cool, sleeper status. The little gets has LED underglow as we have a late arrival in this. Pretty sick 997 GT3. Oh, it, no, not 997, sorry, the 991. I think it's dot one. It's got the half cage in the back. I think this is the one that does get tracked. The race bred motor of a GT3. That is the fun of having a shitbox, people. You can do stuff like that and not care. And that is the one with the bumper dump exhaust, remember. The Turbo MX-5 making some noise. But the S1 as well. Intake and turbo noise out of the S1. I do like the black tail grill, it is a nice feature. There we go, just in time for the pop. So that is pretty much that for tonight. He's just warming the pug up. I'm about to fire the bike up and get that warmed up. People are starting to vacate as well. The Hyundai is yes, gone. Just about to leave and the Porsche has left now as well. But of course, if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Of course, check out the flow and spring video if you want to see some classic motors. The link will be in the description. And until next time, peace.